In this video, we are going to discuss data rate management in TDM. So, in TDM, there are one problem to handle a disparity in the input data rates. So, what is the disparity? So, when data rates are not the same, so three strategies or a combination of them can be used to resolve. So, sometimes it may happen that the data rates for the multiple channels which are going to get multiplexed in our TDM, if the data rates are not same, then what will be the respective solutions. So, here, here we are having multi-level multiplexing, multiple slot allocation and pulse stuffing. So, three methods are there. We shall be discussing three methods one after another. So, at first we are starting with this multi-level multiplexing. So, multi-level multiplexing is a technique used when the data rate of one of the input line is a multiple of others. So, here you see here the data rate is 40 kbps, 40 kbps, 40 kbps, but here we are having the data rates like 20 kbps and 20 kbps. So, what will happen for 20 kbps we shall take another one, another channel we will be taking. So, that is a 20 kbps and 20 kbps. Now, we are having this so, here we will be putting one multiplexer so that we can get the get the 40 kb base which are matching with the other channels and in this way the 600 kb base will be transmitted by this multiplexer. So, this is known as multi level multiplexing because here one marks is working and here another marks is working. Next one we are going for multiple slot multiplexing. So, sometimes it is more efficient to allot more than one slot as example multiple slots in a frame to a single input line. So, here you see here we are having this 25 kbps, 25 kbps, 25 kbps channels are there and here we are having the 50 kbps. Then what will happen we shall go for the demultiplexer here. So, from one channel it will make multiple channels and then in this way you are going to have 5 channels are there with this 24, 25 kbps each. So, what will happen this particular slot for this particular channel actually is going to get allocated for twice. So, slots are getting allocated for twice and here we are having the other slots are there. So, that is a multiple slot multiplexing. So, the input with a 50 kilohertz data rate has two slots in each frame as it has been depicted. So, ultimately we are having this 25 kb base of ultimately 5 channels are entering. So, where here we are having 25 kbps in total. Next one we are going for the pulse stuffing. So, there may be a situation where previous two methods are not applicable. Sometimes the bit rates of source are not multiple integers of each other. So, now here you see here we are having this 50 kbps, 50 kbps is the respective data speed there is a 46 kb base is the data speed. So, obviously 56, 50 kb base is not integral multiple of 46 kb base. So, here we can make some pulse stuffing. So, we are inserting some extra pulse so that the data rate will become 50 kb base again. So, now we are having all the uniformity. So, after mul multiplexing we are getting this that is a 150 kb base is the respective data speed which will be passed through the respective media. So, in this way we have discussed that how the data rate management in TDM that means we are having different data rates in different channels. So, how this data rate management in TDM can be done in three different ways. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.